Welcome, this is Brian Peterson, Director of Business Intelligence here at Jet Reports. And in today's session, we are going to discuss the SQL database cleanup wizard uh, that was introduced in Jet Enterprise 2016. Uh, the SQL database cleanup wizard is a really handy tool that allows us to make sure that um, any uh, extra leftover tables, functions, views, stored procedures, things like that, um, that are just kind of a natural part of building out a business intelligence product project, um, that those can easily be uh, cleaned up with little to no um, uh, time spent on the part of the, uh, the Jet Data Manager users. Uh, some examples that you can see here in my data warehouse, I can open up my tables. These are all the tables that I'm currently using. Uh, and I do know for a fact that I have uh, a few tables in here that, that I've used at some point in the past. They were created, they were deployed and executed, and then I either renamed them or I deleted them or something like that from my project. Now, for the for the sake of making sure that uh, necessary data is not completely dropped and removed, when I delete, say for example, I deleted a table in here from my project, it's not going to delete the physical SQL table and the SQL database itself. It'll just remove it from my project so I no longer see it. Uh, if I open up SQL Management Studio, I can come to my uh, JDM data warehouse and I can see in here, for example, I have a uh, table called uh, Finance Summary that was used for some testing purposes. It's a table, I can look at the properties, I can see that this table has records, it has data. There could be a number of tables like this in my SQL database. Um, and uh, and I wanna make sure that I have the ability to easily you know, come in and, and, and clean some of these things up, date test, maybe some other ones. So to do this, uh, to use the, da the SQL database cleanup wizard, it's actually, like I mentioned, a really, um, a really handy utility I can come into my project, I can right click on the data warehouse and I can go to advanced, I can go to SQL database cleanup wizard. What this is gonna do, this is gonna compare all of the objects I currently have in my project, right? Because obviously the Jet Data Manager knows what the object names are supposed to be. It's gonna read all of the objects out of my SQL database and it's essentially gonna give me the difference between the two. So any, uh, any objects like the posted sales transactions underscore V table or view um, that are supposed to be in the uh, SQL database, it'll ignore and say those are supposed to be there. I'm not gonna go ahead and show those. But what it will do is it'll show any objects in here uh, that uh, essentially do not uh, currently have a use in the project as we're, as we're using it, right? Um, if there, uh, there are a number of different types of objects. The ones I have in this particular project are ones that were created by my project. Um, there would be a separate heading if there were ones that I, that someone created manually in the data warehouse and some other things. But uh, what this allows me to do is really a few things. I can come in here to this particular table. Maybe I want to see this one. And if I want, I can right click on this object and I can click script and this will show me the create script. So uh, this just lets me know um, what the structure of the table is, any properties, basically what is this table doing essentially? And why is it here uh, from a SQL perspective? Um, I can also come in here if I know that I don't want this particular table and I can right click and I can click drop. This is going to create and execute a drop statement in SQL that is going to physically remove this particular table from my SQL database. Right, so finance summary underscore V, as I showed you, that's this table right here. It's there. I'll go into the Jet Data Manager. I'll right click it. I'll click drop. It's going to say that it was successful. I can now come back to uh, SQL Management Studio and I can uh, just right click and refresh this and I can now see that my finance summary underscore V table is no longer there. If I want to get rid of a whole set of tables, if I want to get, for example, rid of everything um, related to this particular object, I can right click and say drop, right? I can, uh, it'll tell me the type right over here. Uh, it also does tell me the type right next to it. These are all tables, that's a view, that's a stored procedure, that's a function. And if I wanna uh, uncheck one of these, if I don't want to remove this particular stored procedure for some reason, I can go ahead and just uncheck that. In this case, I wanna get rid of everything. Oops, and I'll go ahead and click drop there. And you can see that it removes all of those. Once again, going back to SQL Management Studio, I can come in refresh my tables, and I see that all of my finance summary tables, stored procedures, and views have now been removed. I can, uh, if I know that all of these are ones that I want to, uh, that I want to remove, I can also come in here and uh, just go to the uh, right-click on the deleted project object, right-click, drop, 
make sure that all of these are checked, I can click drop. And now I have cleaned up my SQL database because all of the objects that exist in the physical SQL database itself are now back in sync with the, um, the Jet Data Manager server. Sometimes someone will create a table, maybe it's a finance transactions table, um, it has millions of transactions, it's taking up you know, all this disk space, and then someone says, you know what, we don't wanna call it finance transactions, we wanna call it GL transactions. So I come into my project, I do so, and when I do that, it'll actually uh, come and uh, leave the, the original table, finance transactions, create a new one called GL transactions and start using that one going forward. But again, the original table is still sitting there, still taking up space, things like that. So again, as a recap, the SQL uh, database uh, cleanup wizard is, uh, is a very handy utility, allows us to keep our physical SQL database in sync with our project, uh, free up space and declutter the look and everything. I hope you found this useful and we hope to see you in a future session. Thank mm -hmm. you.